I am at New Milford. I made a, a trade with my friend. Just show your hand. Dan, the hand. <laughs> no, my, Dan, the man, hand, my friend. Um, a, a nice copy of Final Fantasy. I, I, kn I know the cover in case is a little beat up, but he can fix that, so that's fine. And for the trade, I got a, a Pokemon number 25 Pikachu and a Star Fox 64 and a Body Harvest, and we're both happy with the trade. Okay, uh, I, I don't know if you can hear the death metal music in the background. Um, it's one of the, my fellow vendors. Uh, today I'm at New Milford. I'll show I'll show my space and whatever uh, after this video, probably. Um, but this is what I got today. Besides, uh, I did a little trading and I did a little buying. Uh, well, I've got a little bit of jewelry, but she already put that in the cases, so I don't have that to show. Um, let me just show what I got. For five dollars, I bought a PlayStation One. Um, I'm not really a fan of selling the PlayStation 1s. They don't really sell for much. I mean, if you get a PlayStation 2, it has everything you need in it. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to save it for the game convention. And I will use that as a, a console for gameplay. And I paid $5 for that. Um, I bought an Atari... You all ready? Okay, I'll just continue and edit this all together. Um, this is Mark 12. I paid 10 for it because I'm going to use it for the con uh, game convention. Um, AJ and I are going to be handling the free gameplay at this upcoming convention that um, the market that I sell at will be running. Uh, so this would be great for free gameplay because it has 20 Atari games built right in. And it's got games like Asteroids and Set to Beat and Yours Revenge and Breakout besides these other games. So I'll just set this up with a TV and it'll be great for gameplay. Um, this, there's another video where you see I did a trade um, with, actually I traded, I already showed the trade that I did. So, But this was actually part of a trade. I traded two PlayStation, the Japanese PlayStation games for this Super Mario World. And my two games were worth about 35 and the games I got were worth about 35. So I got a Super Mario World and I got an American version of the PlayStation uh, an American version of the Resident Evil PlayStation uh, 1 game. So that was pretty much a straight trade. And then I actually traded that for, and I already showed it in the video, but I'll re-show it. I traded uh, the American version of the uh, Resident Evil game for this Pokemon, which I'll, I guess I'll put it out for the hell of it. And then I got a Body Harvest, which my friend um, uh, Dan tested and it will be good, and a Star Fox um, 64. I don't really know the values of these games. I don't believe they're very expensive. You know. Oh, Marie. When I have it. Yeah, I threw it all over the floor. Um, in a bag. Um, paid five bucks for this. No, actually, you know what? Someone just gave it to me. I thought it was going to be five dollars, but he said, oh, here, just take it. This is pretty good. This is an Art Deco uh, bottle opener and corkscrew. I uh, like um, to pop the tops off of beers or whatever. I don't know. It's really cool. It's Art Deco. It's a bird. Probably on eBay it's worth 20 or something like that. But it, I, it didn't cost me anything. So, you know. Um, oh, some, um, someone gave this to me. Uh, it was part of this tray. So here, just take this, right? And then he gave me back my this card. So I didn't buy this or anything. Um, for three bucks a piece, another vendor was selling these memory cards. And these are good. They're four gigabyte. I'll use them for film and or music. I got one, two, three, four, five. Total fifteen dollars. Then I did get actually got more games, but this was someone owed me um, for a trade, and I just I just let what I do with these people. I'm like here, you just give me, you just take what you want from me, and then we'll do like a trade when you get some stuff that I want. So this is part of a trade. Now I'm trying to remember what I trade. I think I traded a I don't know maybe a wood bowl for this stuff. Now, this, the trade that I did uh, is okay stuff. I mean, you know, it's box stuff, but I can't really sell this. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this to my friend. Uh, if he's watching this video, you're getting this. And it's it's in box, Kim Possible 3. Shouldn't have much value, but I'll let you list it. Oh, this one, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. If it's worth a lot in the box, maybe I'll give it to my friend, or maybe I'll save it for a convention. I'm sure the game is worth 10 um, by itself, and then with the box, that probably bumps the price to whatever. You know, maybe it's worth 15, don't know, but. Yeah. Uh, Shrek Su Super Slam, and then a Shrek 2. 
beg for mercy. What I'll probably do with this is I will definitely give these to my friend. And I'm, I may give this to the, my friend, or I may save for the con. I, I, I don't know. I have to think about it. Um, then besides that, I got some loose games. Cake Mania. That really shouldn't have much value. And uh, what is this? It's a SpongeBob game. Um, Yellow Avenger. It's probably a fun game, but probably doesn't have too much value. And um, here's a Kirby. Something... Dreamland. Yeah, there are some DS games there. Um, this probably is a $10 game when I saw it. And this, here's a Raven 2, which should have no value at all. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then um, here's a Wii Play. I can't remember if the Wii Play is worth like 10 or something now, or if it's only a $5 game. Yep. Uh, that is 10 but it, it's not an original Pokemon. It's an aftermarket one, but it does play like an original one. So if you have a console to put it in, it'll, it'll play the same way. But it's not an official game, okay? All right. This is a Wii Play. Um, AJ actually uh, had a Pokemon, and he doesn't want to sell it on his table. So I said, "Well, I'll sell it for you. I'll just tell people it's it's not an original one, and I'll I won't sell I won't sell it for a lot." Um, Hamster's Life, Nintendo, and Big Brain Academy. That's everything I get. Uh, got the next video I show will be like um, I don't know. Uh, it'll be the, the space and just the market. I really don't think I'm going to get anything else today. All right, I'm in uh, New Milford, and basically this is my space. I went long, right? Uh, I did actually a U-shape. Let me just show what the wife did. <sighs> she did uh, the shelf again, three shelves uh, full of, like, uh, neck forms and hanging jewelry. She put uh, hanging stuff on the cardboard she likes to do, and then she displayed a lot of... Um, pieces in the front. She went up with her normal tables, the, the long wood tone table and then a plastic table. Uh, here's her cases. She's got an empty spot there. She was selling some jewelry today. Here's her other case. Um, so her setup is pretty much normal. Three cases uh, and then trays of jewelry, which you can see. What I did was, uh, like I said, we did a U-shape. So I round the corner here. Um, here's my uh, CDs. Right now I have 10 cases full of CDs. So I just go, um, on the smaller tables, I did 10, in a, uh, 10 cases in a row, and I had like a teeny bit of room over there. I separated the tables a little bit to fill it. Um, what I did was, uh, I, I, went, I paid for a 24 feet, because it's 12 and 12, and I got this, right? And then what I did was, then I went, I used one of, um, one of these black tables, and I put these games and those figures there. I didn't sell any of that stuff. I sold mostly CDs today. Uh, the wife did all right with jewelry. And then I sold, really, I don't think I sold any of this stuff. This is the cheaper games where I sell them like either 4 or $5 or $3 or something like that. Um, I don't think I sold any action figures today, right, um, or wrestlers, but I had those out. Um, this, so I had like, say, five trays of this stuff, a uh, tray of that. I don't think I sold any of these today either, these Pokeballs, but they're a rough sell lately. Didn't sell any Star Wars, didn't sell, um, I think I sold two Hot Wheels. Um, but here, here's what I did. I separate the cheaper stuff, I go like uh, $4 uh, or $5 on that, and then I, I separate it by like the action figures, and then this is my uh, better stuff, which uh, I only have four trays of that right now, and I did take out the Japanese anime stuff, and I did not sell any more of that um, today, but that's kind of a weird item to sell, and I actually, believe it or not, I sold a PS4 game today, and the only PS4 game I sold was a Madden for $6, instead of... Um, one of the non-sports games. Uh, but yeah, that's my space for today.